What's up YouTube, JP here, and in this video we're looking at the Steam Deck again. So in a previous video we looked at how to install EmuDeck. So in this video I'm going to show you how to copy across ROMs, and it's not as easy as you might think. So without further delay, let's dive in. So as you might know, the Steam Deck is Linux based. So unfortunately, putting the SD card from the Steam Deck once it's been formatted can't be just plugged into a Windows PC or a MacBook. If you do plug that SD card into a Windows PC or a MacBook, it's not gonna be able to read it. And that's because it's partitioned with a different file system. Now I'm not saying it's impossible to read it on a Windows PC because I'm sure there's some software out there that can do it. So in this video, we're gonna look at two different ways of doing this. The first way is by using a USB memory stick or external hard drive. The second way is gonna use no external drives at all. What we're actually gonna do is set up a network share, a file share on a Windows PC, so the Steam Deck can access that file share and then just transfer anything across that you want. So first of all, let's take a look at what you'll need to do it the first way, using an external storage device. So here we have my Steam Deck here, and as you can see on the top, you have a USB-C port. So we're gonna use this to transfer the ROMs or it could be files across. Now there's loads of different devices you can use. Here we have an external M.2 enclosure. So inside this enclosure, I just put a 256 gigabyte M.2 and that would plug straight in. Here we have a 64 gigabyte Kingston memory stick. Again, this has USB-C. But what if you don't have USB-C? You could pick up one of these. It's a USB-C to four normal USB connection hub. Here I've connected 128 gig to Shiba USB 3 memory stick. And you don't have to use one of those hubs. You could pick up one of these cheap USB-C to USB 3 adapters. Now there's loads of different makes. I've got four here. One of them actually came with a Samsung mobile phone. I think it was the S21 Ultra for transferring data across. But any of these will work just fine. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to use that M.2 external enclosure because it has got USB-C and it is going to be quicker than using a USB memory stick. So one end goes into the Steam Deck and the other end goes into the enclosure. Nice and easy. So now we're on the Steam Deck, but just to let you know, I did format that SSD to FAT32, and then I copied across all my ROMs. And then of course, I changed the Steam Deck from game mode to desktop mode. And you can get to that by pushing the Steam button, going to power options, and then clicking switch to desktop. Now I use a 512 gig micro SD card, and you can see that is coming up as primary. So I've got the primary on the left and the actual SSD open on the right. If you go into the emulation folder, then ROMs folder, all you've got to do is look for the system that you want to copy across. So we're going to copy across some Game Boy Color. Now there is some stuff on there already from a previous transfer. I'm just going to delete it and get rid of it because it's not the full ROM set. So if we go over to the SSD and we're going to highlight all the Game Boy Color ROMs. Once we've got all those highlighted, we can just drag and drop it across and copy to the location. As you can see, that was really quick and that's why I decided to use the M.2 SSD. Now, of course, you can transfer much more than just ROMs. You can transfer any files you like. And in a later video, I'm going to show you how to copy across a non-Steam game actually get it installed and then have it show up on your Steam library on game mode. Sorry for interrupting the video, but I've got you a 10% discount code off anything on the Extreme Rate website. 
Now they have some amazing products, just like this Atomic Purple Shell for the Nintendo Switch. They also have dock shells, LED light kits, replacement parts, screen protectors, you name it, they've got it. Use code ARG10 to save 10% today. So using an external device is pretty simple. As long as you've got an external drive that's USB-C or a memory stick that's USB-C or even a USB-C to USB-3 adapter. So these adapters are relatively cheap. But what if you don't have one? What if you've got your Steam Deck and then you've got a Windows PC or laptop? Is there any way to transfer them across without buying anything or using anything? Well, yes, there is. We're going to look at setting up a file share on the Windows PC so we can access all those files on the Steam Deck. So let's jump over to the PC and I'll show you how to set that up. So over on my Windows 11 PC, I want to share the E drive because it has a PSP folder in it. So we're going to right click on the E drive, show more options, give access to and then advanced sharing. So you should be on the sharing tab and then click on the option advanced sharing. Then tick the box share this folder. Then we're going to click on permissions and it's up to you if you want to give it full access. I'm just going to give it full access and hit apply, but read only is fine. So you can close out of all this. And of course, now you can see an arrow next to the E drive. Now, if you type in backslash backslash localhost, it will actually show you what you're sharing. And as you can see, it's sharing the PSP games. So now let's go over to the Steam Deck. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open the file browser, then go to network and SMB shares. Now what this is going to do is going to scan the network for all available SMB shares. Now this can take a few moments and I'm not going to speed up the footage just so you can see how long it actually takes. And one other thing to know, if you have a NAS drive on your network, it's also going to show up just as it did for me. So I have a NAS drive called FileServe. This is an eight terabyte NAS drive that I could put my ROMs on and then get them across. Now my PC is named Skynet and that's the share that we just set up. Put a comment below if you know what Skynet's a reference to. Anyway, so here's the E drive that we shared and here's that PSP folder. As you can see, here's my ISOs. So we're going to open the primary storage device, that's the SD card. Again, we're going to go into emulation and then ROMs. We're going to go down the list and look for PSP. Now, of course, as we did before, we're just going to highlight all the PSP ISOs and then we're going to drag them across to the PSP folder on the SD card. Now, this will take a little bit longer because, as you might know, PSP ISOs are larger, but also note as this is coming from a file share over the network, it will be slower than using a USB memory stick or in my case, the USB M.2 SSD. So I do believe the file share way is an easier way to do it because whenever you need to transfer something else, you just go on the PC, download it, obtain it, however you obtain stuff put it in that file share and then you know you can just go on the Steam Deck and transfer it all across. So in summary, I actually found it quite easy getting the files that I wanted over onto the Steam Deck and I hope you managed to do it too. So before I let you go, if you enjoy my content and you want to see more stuff on the Steam Deck or the Switch, please like, subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads. I'm JP. You've been watching Alien Retro Gaming, and I'll catch you in the next one.